Grace Vallis, a raging wildfire that emptied Canada's main oil sand city, has destroyed entire neighborhoods. In Fort McMurray, Alberta, officials there on Wednesday warning that all efforts to suppress the fire have failed. About 88,000 residents have successfully evacuated as flames moved into the city surrounded by wilderness. No injuries have so far been reported. Well, it's a disaster, and I find that it's not fair. They didn't even let us take our things and when we asked them. So we lost everything now. It was in the campsite. Yeah. We asked the cops the other day, two days ago, to take our things out, and they wouldn't let us. We all have what we have on our backs. And government officials said there is significant destruction and an estimated 1,600 structures have been destroyed or damaged. Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau on Wednesday said the federal government has mobilized emergency crews to respond to what Alberta's Premier Rachel Notley has called the largest fire evacuation in Alberta's history. Uh, before uh, anything else, our thoughts are turning to our friends in Alberta. Uh, obviously, uh, Fort McMurray uh, being evacuated has been uh, uh, extremely difficult, not just for, uh, for uh, the province and officials, but uh, uh, for the folks who live there. And uh, the folks, as we well know, right across the country uh, who have, uh, have connections to Fort McMurray. And I've been uh, uh, dealing with uh, offers of support and calls from, uh, uh, from the Atlantic provinces uh, all the way out to BC as people are looking for how uh, they can support their friends and neighbours as uh, as people go through this difficult time. Unseasonably hot temperatures combined with dry conditions have transformed the forest in much of Alberta into a tinderbox. The wildfire threat ranged from very high to extreme in different areas. For the very latest, stay with BNONews.com and follow us throughout the day on Twitter for breaking news updates at BNO News.